people across Britain are about to wake up to a whole new breakfast experience. Isn't it awful when your journey grinds unexpectedly to a halt? That changes the equation quite a bit. And considering that that's reality, it's time to wake up. To be honest, you know, I mean, I don't go to... Give them what we know. I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to hold on to some shred of reality. Well, you, along with everyone else, are going to have to start dealing with a whole new reality from now on. What if the world can't handle it? What if Washington's right and we should just keep this thing in the bag? Trust me, the truth is always right. Oh, mass hysteria. You are wonderful. You want answers? I think I'm entitled you to You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Strength keeps Europe warm, but there are fears it could switch off. Scientists say we might be okay though. The current near Africa seems to be shifting warm up water further north. Normal life is not real. We are just cogs in a wheel. We work, we hurt, we search, we feel. Normal life is not real. We are just cogs in a wheel. We work, we hurt, we search, we feel. What the? Is somebody in here? There are only two real commandments, and the other eight are just filler. Too late for the general public to realize they've been lied to by two different elected administrations about the very nature of our existence. Tron was created by Alan through the old system. I brought him here to protect this one. Clue was my creation, a program designed to create a perfect world. Oh, we were jamming, man, building utopia. Hours in here were just minutes back on. This one I thought it couldn't get any more profound. Something unexpected happened. The miracle. The miracle? You remember. Isos. Isomorphic algorithms. A whole new life form. And you created them? <laughs> no, no. They manifested like a flame. They weren't really really from anywhere. The conditions were right and they came into being. For centuries, we dreamed of gods, spirits, aliens, and intelligence beyond our own. I tried to picture clusters of information as they moved through the computer. What did they look like? Ships? Motorcycles? Were the circuits like freeways? I kept dreaming of a world I thought I'd never see. And then, one day... You got in. <laughs> That's right, man. I got in. Well, I, I walked my talk. I played the game. 
you play the game, you know that you know one level of it. And I know, I, and I used, like I say, I used to play around with the world leaders, so I know what they're planning on doing. The political agenda to have it all come down so we can all blame God or somebody else for all the events that are going to occur or follow the prophecies. One of the two. Yet you think they're the ones who's gonna, who, who will bring it down upon us. Exactly. Except for the extraterrestrials that I've been contacted with says, wake up guys, you're in a huge play. That, you know, it's like William Shakespeare said, the whole world's the stage and we're just the players on this thing, which is actually correct. True. I don't say it publicly often, I'll say it here, it's times it's late in the game, might as well put it out there. Who told me very directly that there are structures, ancient structures, on Mars, connected to a civilization that's connected to early human civilization on Earth. And he has confirmed this to me and he said, but the reason that NASA will not disclose this sort of information is that it would collapse, and I'm quoting, collapse the foundations of all the orthodox religious belief systems on the planet. It's a bad system, but we're all guilty of class consciousness, be honest. My mother. You know, I think we've just had it with the church. All the horrible things they've done to kids. I I think I'm going to become an atheist. That's a good idea. I'm going to be an atheist, too. Let's all be atheists. Yeah! yeah. Well, if there was a God, why would he let our kids be molested in the first place? Yeah! Let's kill God! Yeah! Well, let's, let's just be atheists. Same thing. also marking the opening of a new era and it was actually a time of celebration so it's, you know you can look at it from the point of view yes there's one era that's going to be rolled up and finished so if you're attached to that it is the end of the world but there's another one that's going to be unfurled and that's the celebration so both are going on uh, at the same time at, at sort of parallel events because for, for one era to come in the other one has to sort of receive and and this is one of the problems is that people take only the sort of eschatological uh, eschatology is the study of how the world's going to end yeah. a sort of view on this and, and it's an incorrect view um, yes and, and, and they sort of, it's sort of like the REM song that goes you know it's the end of the world as we know it but I feel fine mm -hmm. and actually I was giving a talk once in, in some place on the west coast and there were like 2,000 people in the audience and I said that and everyone started singing that song because it, it's the end of one whole way of living on the planet that's about division and separation and destruction, but it's the opening of another cycle of, of unity and universal peace and free energy and advanced civilizations and interstellar travel So, and higher states of consciousness. And I think that it depends on where you want to come down on the side of that and what side of that coin you want to look at. And, and I prefer to look at what's being created, not what's about to collapse. <laughs> Religion is definitely uh, one of the, their primary means of control. Um, what is your take on the ancient astronauts that came? Uh, you know, the Sumerian tablets, uh, the fact that we were, well, the theory that we were created genetically engineered by these beings. I don't know if we were genetically engineered, but it, it, there, it could be that the gap, the missing link in, in modern homo sapiens may have been an augmentation of other life forms that were already here. But people have to also remember that I, I think literally there were continents like Atlantis and Lemuria and you. I think there were entire civilizations that predate any, that go back millions and millions of years, not 10,000 or 50,000 years, that have existed on Earth. The Earth's been around for billions of years. It's had life on it for hundreds of millions. So 1921. Some are just smarter than the others. Welcome to the others. <laughs> The truth of the matter when it comes to analyzing who the others are and how we will respond to that uh, is that is that the people who actually know the most right now have not been talking for seven decades. So the question really is, uh, will we be okay with this new interaction with this non-human intelligence? The one thing we can tell you is just based on history, they have not landed on the White House lawn. They've not blown up Congress. They haven't done any of those kind of science fiction uh, uh, kind of events that one could say are War of the Worlds kind of events. It's unlikely that because we disclose that we're onto their game that they're going to do that. Disclosure will probably have the same dramatic impact as 9-11, uh, the Kennedy assassination, Pearl Harbor, all rolled into one. Uh, 
because it's such a game-changing, life-altering event, and it's going to come in, in, a, in a shock, uh, really shock and awe, it's like a lightning bolt, when people first realize that, that this thing that they suspected is now confirmed. And at that point, people are going to begin to behave in a very human way. Uh, to learn that there is alien life or the life of others out there makes people reach into their own humanity. And for some people it will be their finest day, and for some people it simply won't. There are other people, other beings, other intelligences that have been observing us for a long time. That evidence is overwhelming. They are aware that we are about to leap into their world. Pick and choose which laws you follow. Dad, this is it. Steve, no! Don't go to the light! I saw the people in the sky like the goddamn rapture. Doesn't have to play out that way. What are you talking about? I found a way to change the game.